Mackie Motors in Lake City is the place to find new and certified used vehicles along with a knowledgeable and helpful sales staff. Find new roads at Mackie Motors in Lake City. Troy Ventank here with the uh, Kemper softball team joining us here today after an 11-3 victory over at Webster City in the uh, first game for them at the Ogden at tournament. Uh, Chloe was in the circle today. Outstanding performance for you. Uh, what did you feel like was working for you here today? I feel like my rise and just fastball were definitely working. I mean, I don't get many strikeouts, but I, with my defense, they're pretty solid, so I can trust like whatever hit happens that they're going to make an out for me. Did you get a chance to do much homework on their hitters, or was it just kind of going out and pitching your game and, and, like you said, letting your defense do their thing? Um, Their slapper, I worked on her a lot, definitely going outside. But, I mean, it worked a few times, but otherwise my defense was there for me, so that was good. What stood out for you about the defensive effort from your club today? Um, We didn't have many errors. I know we played Exaura the other night, and we fell to them. So I just feel like um, today winning our game, first game, it was really good for us. Just all the defense, like they had good catches and everything, so that helped. <laughs> as a non-strikeout pitcher, how do you try to limit your, your the amount of pitches that you throw? I know that it's not as hard on softball as it is in baseball to, to limit things and stuff for your arm, but uh, I know you don't want to go out and throw probably 200 pitches in a game as well. No. So what were you trying to work? The edges, the, the interior? What, what were you looking to throw strikes at today? Um, I feel like most of them were going at high pitches, so that worked with my rise ball. Otherwise... Yeah, anything was really working. We were just hitting it, so we made outs. Got some runs early, too. How much yeah. did that help you to just kind of settle in and relax that helped, and play? Yeah, that gave me a lot of confidence, so that was really good. Our bats have been good today, so hopefully that keeps going on the rest of the season. What do you What do you think was the reason why the bats got going today? Um, I just feel after Xaro when we lost, we didn't have really many hits, so then we worked at practice on batting, and obviously it showed this game, so... Yeah. Kind of nice to have a, a day where the weather's pretty good to be able to play as well. Yeah, it was going to be cold this morning, but now it turned <laughs> out to be really nice, so that was awesome. How do you feel like you're throwing early in the season? Uh, I don't think I'm throwing too good. I threw in the off season a lot, which I mean that helped a lot. I did live hitting, so I thought I'd be prepared, but I think I can be more prepared as the season goes on. What were some of the things you worked on in the off season with the throwing you did to get ready for this year? I definitely worked on all my pitches, so my rise drop fast and change. My change was really good during off season, but now it's not. They're really high, so I just need to work on getting those down, and we'll be good. What kind of adjustment do you think you need to make on that? Definitely just my release point. I'm just going too high, which is an easy fix, so that'll be good. Another game coming up later today. What do you guys do to kind of get some food and, and rest, but you yet stay kind of focused and, and stretched out for that game? Yeah, definitely stretch, eat a lot of food, and just come out strong right away. Which I think we can do, so we'll be good. Absolutely. Well, congratulations on a great performance today. Appreciate you joining us. Thanks, Jeff.